Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Sended Moments channel. I'm Jolima and in this video, following my previous video about uh, the underrated fresh fragrances in my opinion, um, these fragrances that I will mention, these fragrances last. So this is a video about long lasting fresh fragrances. Uh, and it's very rare because, I mean, usually fresh fragrances, they don't tend to last uh, just because it's, I mean, they don't have heavy notes uh, like ambers or vanillas or ouds. I mean, usually fresh fragrances, they are citrusy, green, florals, which, I mean, they don't tend to last. To last. But there are some exceptions, fortunately. And if you are searching for a long-lasting fresh fragrance, um, this is the video for you. And I have here five uh, designers and five which technically is are six because I have a tie from the same brand. Um, but so technically it's 11, but, but yeah, I will not mention them in a specific order. Uh, and without further ado, with starting with the design of fragrances first. The first fragrance that I want to mention, it's from the House of Hugo Boss, which I featured in the last video, and it is Hugo Boss Bottled Unlimited. Uh, this fragrance uh, really lasts on my skin at least. And of course, no disclaimer, I mean, this is just my experience. That doesn't mean that they will last uh, the same amount of time on you, like, they last on me so also take that in consideration so hugo boss bottled unlimited a guilty pleasure of mine like i told like i said in my previous video this is all about mint an amazing mint fragrance i mean it's very rare to find uh, a great mint scent especially in the designer side of things and here you have it mint with pineapple uh, with citruses, I mean, and this is not, definitely not um, similar to Aventus. And the pineapple here, it's also well done. Um, it's very fresh, green, fruity, very playful scent. Absolutely love this fragrance. Uh, it's not overly synthetic, not on my opinion, of course, not on my skin. Uh, and I even dare to say that it has a mild natural feel, like, especially the mint. Uh, so I really do like this one. I love this one and it's it's great uh, to know that this is this lasts on me at least. Uh, on my skin when this dries down I get it's very musky. Um, uh, I don't know if musk, I don't recall if musk is featured has an official note, but on my skin this is quite musky. Um, but yeah, I mean this it's still an amazing scent. This is Hugo Boss Bottled Unlimited. Um, it's a scent that, I mean, you definitely need to try. This is a very casual, very versatile scent. Um, I think it's a fragrance that fits perfect the summertime. Next fragrance that lasts uh, quite a while on my skin, it's from the house of Tom Ford, and it is Costa Azzurra. Now, this is the private blend bottle, as you can see. Uh, nowadays, you this is in the signature line uh, with a different bottle presentation. Um, I, it still smells the same. And now you have a Parfum concentration, which I have yet to try. This is the Eau de Parfum. This, already in the private blend bottle, it's it was the fragrance that had the best performance out of the Noroli Portofino collection, like the Mandarino di Amalfi, Noroli Portofino, I mean, all of those fragrances, uh, Fleur de Portofino, I think it, it was also, also something like that. I mean, you had a lot of fragrances from this uh, collection, but this one was the one that had the best performance. Um, Costa Azura, and actually it was my favorite uh, back then, and still is a favorite of mine. Um, Costa Azura is in this bottle presentation, and even in the regular, now in the signature scent, um, this is seaweedy, woodsy, aquatic, but it's dry. It's like dry woods with seaweed with 
a slightly aquatic nuance. This smells like an old fish boat. Yeah, I think it's the best way to, to describe this fragrance. Like an old fish boat, but not that fishy. Uh, it's not that fishy, but it has that old, dry, seaweedy, woodsy impression. I love this. Um, it's still, and it's quite musky also in the base. Um, th this for me, it's it's amazing. It's perfect for summer uh, and it lasts. It lasts uh, on my skin and it, it's a scent that I absolutely love to wear during summer nights um, or more upscale uh, events, upscale events during the summertime. Um, especially if it's like closer to the ocean, like a night out, a sunset. I mean, I think it's perfect for those occasions. Uh, it's also great for, I mean, a regular day in the beach, um, but I prefer this more into more, a bit more dressed up events. This is a fantastic scent, Costa Azura from Tom Ford. I love it. And I, and I still have to try the Parfum. I would love to try that one soon, but I have so many that I have on my wish list, so I'm sure that maybe if I would try the parfum, it's another one to add on my bucket list. So I mean, <laughs> I'm just skipping that and stick to the fragrances that I want to add first. But this one is fantastic, uh, especially now in the regular line, signature scent line. It's more affordable, so it's a scent that I highly advise you to try if you are searching for a unique aquatic scent, which has great performance. This is Costa Azura from Tom Ford. Next fragrance doesn't need any introduction. It's from the House of Chanel and it is Allure Homme Edition Blanche. This is my favorite from this line, uh, from the Allure line. This is a lemon meringue pie, a spicy lemon meringue pie, um, which, I mean, I'm very fortunate uh, to experience the great performance of this fragrance because a lot of people complain about the performance of this one and i have the eau de parfum concentration i think first you had the eau de toilette concentré but now you have the eau de parfum i don't have any issues with performance whatsoever i mean i absolutely love this is a staple in my collection it's that type of scent it's that type of scent that i will always have in my collection one of my most complimented fragrances i already have so many memories attached with this fragrance i mean it's just a perfect, fresh, gourmandish fragrance. And it's so unique. I mean, seriously, this is out of this world. It's another banger from the house of Chanel. This is Allure en Médition Blanche. It's... Just grab this one. This is one that I really advise you to just, just grab it, take it. I mean, you will not regret it. Even if the performance, I mean, will not be as great as uh, on me, that it will be, might be on you. I mean, still, the quality, the uniqueness, I mean, the sensuality, it's here. So it, it's a type of scent that it's just, you need to have it. <laughs> so this is Allure Homme Edition Blanche, plus this is Signature Scent Worthy. <laughs> now the next fragrance, it might be a surprise for you also. It's from House of Hermes, and it is... Voyage d'Hermes. I absolutely love this fragrance and I really do like this bottle presentation. Uh, now, this fragrance um, was also a rediscover because I already knew this fragrance, but then I kind of forgot about the existence of this fragrance. Then, way later on, I purchased the Parfum uh, concentration, which I love. And just this year, I got the original, the Eau de Toilette. And I'll be honest, I think I prefer the Eau de Toilette really because, I mean, first of all, yeah, the performance in this one is much better. I mean, it's mind blowing because the other one is Parfum, so it's more concentrated. It's supposed to last more, but it's not really the case. I, I got I got much better performance with the Eau de Toilette. Um, and I like the freshness. I, lo I love the opening. I love the brightness, the saltiness of this one, which the Parfum doesn't have. The Parfum, yeah, it's a bit darker, 
uh, heavy on the cardamom, very lemony, but it's very closed. Uh, it's not, it doesn't bloom. Um, and although I really love it, but I prefer, again, I, I prefer this one. This is a spicy with cardamom, very sensual, salty, uh, fresh scent that it's just, again, another scent that you need to try. Uh, I think it's this one, it's because of the spices, uh, it's, it's more unique and it's a bit, might be a bit harder to appreciate. Uh, when, when comparing, for example, with Allure Homme Edition Blanche, which is, it's a fragrance that really, I mean, I just say, just buy it. This one, I, I'm more cautious and I would just advise you to try this. Um, might not be for everyone, but if you love spices, I mean, I think this will be a great discovery for you. Um, again, fresh, citrusy, spicy, musky scents. And it's so damn sensual. It's so sensual. It's one of the most uh, sensual fragrances, fresh fragrances that I have. Um, and, and I'm shocked about the performance. I, this fragrance lasts me the entire day, like eight hours uh, on my skin. It's mind blowing. I was definitely not expecting this project and it has better projection than the Parfum and that's natural. Um, so yeah, this really fits all the bills. So. Really advise you to check this one out, uh, and it's a fragrance that I will definitely wear a lot during the summertime. It's Voyage d'Hermes. Last but definitely not least, very well known fragrance from the house of Mont Blanc Explorer. Yes, this is the Aventus like fragrance from the designer side of things. Um, still a bit different from Aventus because you don't have the pineapple, you have the bergamot. Um, but this performs this it's been a while since i tried aventus so I'll, i will not say that this lasts more than aventus but definitely has better performance and that definitely has great performance not i don't i don't really recall if it if it has better performance or not because again it's been a while since i tried aventus uh especially i never tried the uh, newer batch formulation so i mean i don't know but this one, I'm sure it lasts the entire day uh, and it's great. I mean, yeah, it has the Aventus DNA, um, that smoky, slightly birch tar like with this fruity pineapple impression, which is created by the bergamot. Very fizzy, fresh, sparkly uh, scent. Bit quite musky, actually, a bit smoky, and it's just fantastic. Um, it's a great scent. Um, I th th this is a type of fragrance that I will not purchase like for 300 euros plus. <laughs> I think it's not worth that, but it's worth the Mont Blanc price in the online discounter. It's like 25 30 euros. Yeah, this is just a must have. Uh, this is a must have because this is really well done. It's a well done scent from Mont Blanc. Uh, it's not scratchy, it's not overly synthetic. I think it's well blended, very well blended. Um, and I think that's the most important thing. And it lasts. <laughs> so I, I think it's another scent that it, it fills all the bills. Uh, it could easily be a signature scent. Um, so I think it's, it's another fragrance I will definitely wear in the warmer weather. I prefer to wear this more during the warmer weather. Um, you will not smell like the most unique guy in the room. Maybe you will, I mean, it depends on the region where you are living in. Um, but this is not like the most unique scent DNA, because again, it smells similar to Aventus, but amongst the designer fragrances, it is unique. It is unique. So there's that. It's Mont Blanc Explorer finishing uh the designer list now let's talk about the niche fragrances and the first fragrance that i will talk about that has great performance is a fragrance that actually i already mentioned in my previous video from the portuguese niche brand comporta perfumes El Olhar Trancoso. this one right here beautiful bottle presentation heavy thick glass wooden cap um this is my favorite coconut fragrance as of now. 
uh, this smells like coconut water um, it's very green salty aquatic um, smells like you are like I said in my previous video you are drinking coconut water under a coconut tree next to the beach amazing uh, it's really amazing um, natural smelling very it's a real realistic natural smelling scent really puts you in the mood in the place and it's to die for very long lasting go to parfum concentration um, and it's a fragrance that for me it's a summer staple it's a olhar trancos from comporta perfumes now the next two fragrances yeah uh, this is a tie and i could mention four fragrances from this brand because it's Profumo Broma. Profumo Broma it's also an underrated brand. I could have mentioned this, these fragrances in my underrated uh, video, but well, I wanted to mention in this video Profumo Broma and I will mention two. So the first fragrance is Aqua di Sale. I mean, this is a staple already in my collection, in my rotation during the summer. Um, and then it's, and after it's Orangea. Orangea is just the best orange blossom fragrance that you will smell. Uh, so Aqua di Sale, I mean, this is aquatic, the best, the very best, the finest aquatic scent out there. Uh, this is a limited edition bottle presentation, like this is your regular bottle presentation from Profumo Broma. This one, Aqua di Sale, Parfum Broma is my favorite niche brand. Um, wow, this is, this smells like pure ocean water. It's like you fill up this bottle with ocean water. That's it. Oh, it's so good and it's so sensual. This has that um, dry, salty skin when you are leaving the beach. It has that smell and it's very sensual for me at least um, yeah it's very seaweedy very aquatic fresh and it has that uh, dry dry skin with salt yeah it's it's perfect um, realistic <sighs> this will perform like crazy everyone will notice you actually but this is not overwhelming uh not for me at least uh this is linear like the most perfume broma fragrances are but i mean this will last the entire day and night this will project i mean it's also it's so good and i have already so many great memories with this one yeah it's aqua di sal it's the best aquatic scent most realistic, most long-lasting aquatic scent that you will smell. So, I mean, it's just, it's perfect. It's Aqua di Sale. And the other one, it's Orangea. I mean, I could have mentioned Aqua Viva, which is the best lemon scent. I could have mentioned Icnusa, which is like a fresh fig leaf with figs, a fragrance, which is also to die for. Very realistic, very natural smelling scent. All Perfumo Moroma fragrances have this natural smelling uh, feel. For me at least orangea is oranges with orange blossom it's just to die for it's citrusy floral green to die for <laughs> it's oh man it's so fizzy uplifting effervescent it's it's really you are smelling it's really like you are smelling orange blossom and or you are under an orange blossom tree period it's that crazy um wow. wow this is another scent that i've been wearing this a lot um orangea it's also perfect for spring of course um and it's just a scent that if you like these type of fragrances like if you love orange blossom i mean get this one uh, just blind buy <laughs> because this really smells like orange blossom uh so just get this Th this is amazing orangea and aqua di sale i mean you have here two amazing fresh fragrances one aquatic one more fresh citrusy floral scent i mean amazing 
uh, and Perfum Roma you have everything with Perfum Roma you have a bit of everything all more linear don't expect really real complex fragrance like uh, constantly changing fragrances no but what you get is high quality natural smelling realistic fragrances so um, that's why I love Perfum Roma and they all have great performance they are highly concentrated they are parfum concentration so I mean these are very oily and I love it um, so yeah Aqua di Sale again the best aquatic orangea the best orange blossom um, scents so there's that uh, and it's tough to beat that but well the next fragrance that I will talk about which is quite long lasting it's from the house of Maison Francis Courtion another fragrance brand that I don't mention a lot I mean I have a few like I have four I sold my Lumière Noire um, I mean, it's it was a, it's a rose patchouli scent, but I'm not a big fan of the construction of the blend itself, and the, uh, I was not a fan in the end. It was very medicinal. The patchouli was very medicinal, very doesn't doesn't didn't have that realistic, well blended rose like that fresh green uh, that fresh red rose with this earthy patchouli. No. It was a bit synthetic for me so um, that's why I sold it but this one though it's great uh, and it's Aqua Vitae Forte Aqua Vitae Forte is my favorite from the Aqua line uh, you have Aqua Celestia Aqua Universalis and you have Aqua Vitae Aqua Vitae Forte is my favorite then you have the regular Aqua Vitae which I don't recall how it smells like but this one Oh, this one is good. Uh, and this one has a note that it's, for me it's quite hard to uh, to appreciate to wear, which is the Lang Lang. I really have, I struggle with the Lang Lang. But here, I mean, it's done so well. Uh, this is citrusy, floral, heavy in the Lang Lang uh, and white florals. But you have the, the balance with the citruses. Then you have a vanillic nuance in here and a mild salty accord so this is like it's definitely heavier it's the most heavy fragrance that I have in this that I will mention in this video um, but it's so bright um, and it's chic and it's classy and it's sensual mm. And it feels like summer, like a real formal event summer scent. <laughs> uh, it's a fragrance for a, a formal event during the summertime. <laughs> it's the best way to put it. Um, it's a great scent. Uh, again, long lasting, really long lasting. Only parfum concentration. Uh, Aqua Vitae Forte. It's for me the best. Again, it's the most complex. Uh, the most unique, the most interesting scent of this aqua line. Um, not very aqua like uh, because, again, heavy on the citrus, heavy on the florals. Doesn't have aquatic nuances, but it's salty. It has a saltiness in here. Then we have a vanillic nuance. It's great. Um, it's a great scent. Unisex can lean a bit more feminine for some because of the floral nuances, but for me, and I struggle with the Lang Lang again. I like florals, but I struggle with the Lang Lang. But this one is just balanced to perfection. Love it, love it. Aqua Vitae Forte is a fragrance that I highly advise you to try. And it's a fragrance that lasts a long time on me. The next fragrance is from the house of Sergeov and it is Kobe, this one right here. Now, I could have mentioned Renaissance, which is a fantastic citrusy mint scent. I could have mentioned Neo, which is one of the most well acclaimed uh, bergamot fragrances, but I mentioned this one, Kobe. Kobe is, I get I get better performance with Kobe when comparing with, for example, Neo. Uh, and Kobe is more interesting because of the orange, because of the spices, uh, because of the woods. So Kobe is more interesting than Neo. Neo, it's like Neroli with bergamot more. Uh, 
Renaissance is also quite interesting because you have this cocktail of citruses, natural smelling citruses. I mean, lemons, bergamot, orange, with mint, also one of the best mint fragrances out there. Um, you have a hint of rose, a hint of woods. So it's also very interesting and definitely more affordable than Kobe, for example, or Neil. Um, but I want to mention Kobe because I think I never mentioned this fragrance before. And Kobe is definitely one that deserves the attention. And it's it also has like a creaminess. Yeah, it's definitely orangey, spicy, creamy, woozy scent. Very sparkly, very effervescent. Quite sensual. Mm. Quite addicting. I, I really do love this one, uh, Kobe. Um, it's a stunning scent, long lasting. Uh, it's pricey for what it is, but I still love it. Um, I still love this fragrance. I, I really like the bottle presentation of Sergeoff fragrances. Um, and if you are searching for um, an upscale, spicy citrus scent, I mean, check this one out. Um, this, it's hard to justify, and I understand that. I mean, it's hard to justify, I mean, 235 euros for just a 50 ml of a fresh citrus fragrance. I mean, it's hard, it's hard to justify, and I completely understand that. But this one is a bit more than that, because again, of the creamy vanillic nuances, because of the spices, but you will not get the most unique scent, but you will get still high quality spicy citrus scent. Um, so, which is, which gives a very sensual, very elegant feel. So uh, that's why I'm mentioning this one. And that's why I am uh, advising you to at least try this, which is again, quite long lasting, which is the purpose of this video in the end. So this is Kobe from the house of Sergeoff. And last but definitely not least, from the house of Nishane, and it's been a while since I featured a Nishane scent. This one is Wulong Cha. Wulong Cha is one of my favorite tea fragrances. This is a very citrusy uh, bergamot orange with green tea musk. Uh, this also has a hint of fig but I mean, it's barely, barely detected, detectable. So this is more about uh, citruses, a cocktail of citrus with this beautiful lychee green tea uh, with musk. It's to die for. Oh man. And it has a natural feel that I absolutely love. And it's very long lasting. After all, this is an extrait de parfum, uh, like all Nishani fragrances are. Man, it's amazing, man, it's amazing. If you like fragrances like uh, Elizabeth Garden um, Green Tea, uh, if you like, uh, there, Bulgari has a fragrance that also is like a green tea fragrance. Um, like if you like that type of fragrances, those type of fragrances, I mean, you will love this one because this is a higher quality scent and longer lasting, so. Yeah, it's one of my favorites uh, from Nishane, and it's one of my favorite tea fragrances. It's Wulong Cha, perfect for summer and spring. It's amazing. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments down below what are your favorite, most long-lasting, fresh fragrances. I would love to uh, to hear your, your, uh, your fragrances, the fragrances that you want to mention. Maybe there are some that I don't know, and that I will try. Um, so I would love to hear your opinion on that and I hope you enjoyed this video again guys thank you so much for your ongoing support and see you in the next one take care